Hey guys, I'm here with a video on the new game mode, the new treasure scramble-ish game mode, the um, the big PvP event, so to speak. Um, I just want to make a quick guide initially before the event kicks off in a day, um, just to clarify some things, because uh, a lot of people are confused, uh, and I just want to make a a really bare bones uh, guide on what the event's about and how you uh, maximize your rewards from the event. Um, and also, I do want to apologize for the lack of videos last week. Uh, I was uh, stuck with my laptop, so I couldn't really record anything. So I'm sorry for that, but the video should be back this week. All right, so the new event, Treasure Vanguard Beta, right? Um, first of all, I want to praise Lilith because I think this event looks sick thematically. Uh, I think this event looks really sick. I just, <laughs> I kind of wish it was a guild event. Uh, but anyways, right, so you come in here and then you take a look and you, you see these uh, three, four different things you can click on. Now, the, the two things that you want to make sure you pay attention to is the military camp. Uh, and then the uh, inspection or escort or occupy, uh, depending on your strength. Now, first of all, the military camp, as you can see here, there are different categories. Um, so for weaker accounts, you would want to escort. For medium accounts, you would want to inspect. And for strong accounts, you would want to occupy. Um, now, for um, inspect and escort accounts, a thing you want to pay attention to if you want to help out your team the most uh, is you want to pay attention to this down here, the operations where you have food... Um, food, lumber, and weapons. Uh, and for inspect, you have this one, right? Uh, you wanna try and even uh, these things out, right? As it says here, spread operations evenly for higher faction gains. Uh, that means that when you go in and you pick your escort team, let's say I wanted to escort, uh, you wanna make sure you pick one of these two because as, uh, as you can see in here, food was 88%, right? And you don't want food to be 88%. Uh, you want food to be, well, ideally like 33%, right? So you would pick one of these two and then you would set your teams and press the operation button. Now, one thing you can do is you can actually uh, switch these. Uh, you can switch in between these. Um, so maybe you do very well in the escort and you want to try out inspect, you can do that the next day. Um, so what is this? Well, as you can see here, it says easy, in, easy intermediate and, and hard. And uh, the, the general rule of thumb is that if you have pet resonance, um, six or below, you would want to go with the easy option where you have to field a three, um, five teams, uh, three, uh, five hero teams. If you have pet a resonance like pretty high, like I would say like nine ish, if you're around the nine ish range, nine to 12, you would want to go with the inspect option, which is what I'm doing because I have pet resonance nine. And here you have to very interestingly uh, field um, seven, seven, three hero teams. Uh, which is very interesting. And my teams are super, um, <laughs> super work in progress because I don't think I've ever tested out a, a three hero PvP teams. So the meta will, will shape out uh, once we get some more uh, intel and have some more battles. And then lastly, if you have a higher, um, a higher pet resonance, I would say like 15 and above probably, uh, you could go in for the occupy uh, option, which is where you would face the hardest battles. Um, I just set my teams. I'm not actually going to queue, but as you can see here, right, I can switch in between these two. So you can actually, um, you know, do, switch in between whatever works out best for you. Um, now, once you've chosen these, right, which is basically based on your account strength uh, and your pet level. So I would say nine and below would be escort, nine to 12, or actually just nine to 15 would be uh, inspect, and then 15 and above would be occupy. Um, once you've chosen those and you've made sure that you select a a good one of these, right? You want to make sure you select um, one of these that you need. So it spreads evenly down here. Um, then you're pretty much set for the event. Now, what we really care about, uh, what most people really care about, because uh, let's face it, not a lot of us are going to get the um, <laughs> the frames here, right? We want to care. We care about the rewards. So there are two types of rewards. There's the faction specific rewards, um, which will be based upon where your faction uh, ranks. Uh, one thing I should mention is your faction is random. You can't show, choose a faction. So you just randomly put uh, into a faction with a fourth of the player base, right? And as you can see here, you're guaranteed 10 uh, time gazer cards, which is really nice. And then uh, depending on where you rank, you can get anywhere from seven to 10,000 diamonds. Um, but as an individual, you don't have that much influence on where you rank overall. So it's very nice that the time gazer cards are a static reward. Um, so. Basically, you, you rank wherever you rank. You have no real influence. You can try your best, of course, but uh, this will probably be settled by like the high, the the average performance of your um, faction uh, in which the individual performance matters not that much if it's the fourth of the player base in each faction. What you really want to pay attention to are the uh, activity rewards. Now, these rewards you get 
based on the task hole, right? So you can see here, there are different tasks and then you rank up and you get these rewards. These rewards are, I would say they're actually kind of lackluster, but for a seven day event, it's not that bad. And also uh, you get time gazers, so we can't really complain, right? So basically all you wanna make sure is that you rank the highest possible in the individual rewards. And then for this one, you don't have to pay much mind to it. Um, just make sure you do the correct one of these. Um, if you're doing a spec or a escort and you choose the correct um, difficulty for you uh, based on your account. Now, uh, the event is obviously, it just came out, but I do have some infographics uh, I was able to find uh, on the Discord server and I'll show you guys those here. So um, here's a, I mean, a shout out to uh, TOS uh, on Discord. Here's a yeah very dumbed down version of the, the mode pretty much. Um, and basically it says what I just said, right? Which is uh, you check, uh, it's hard to see here, if I zoom in, you check which uh, resources are needed and then you focus on those when you set your teams, right? And so you make sure you queue up for the ones that your resources are needed. And then here you pick easy if you're a, a below level nine and below level nine and 18, I would say below level or in between level nine and uh, 15, you would choose inspect. And if you're 18 or 15 and above, you would probably go with occupy. That's my uh, opinion anyhow. Um, but yeah, it's pretty simple mode. There's really only two things you need to pay attention to. And then we'll see how hard it is to progress the task uh, thing. And then another thing is um, what you do for your teams. Now for um, for the uh, for the for the um, for the Occupy teams, right? You just want to uh, put in your best treasure scramble teams, right? Your seven best treasure scramble teams. And uh, in the same uh, regard, in the escort team, you just want to put in your best uh, five um treasure scramble teams right um and then for the three teams that's where it gets a little interesting and that's where we have a uh, zero if you don't guys don't know zero he's a well he's kind of a, a big a big figure in the afk arena right he makes a lot of uh, very good guides especially around the abyssal expedition he has some great content uh, and also a wicked hero priority and now also this um and this these are some um examples for for teams for the different uh, modes and um, for these um, teams, you can see here some examples for heroes to ban, right? So you have some some heroes to ban if you are playing the Occupy. But most people who watch my videos are probably not in the in the high 15s, uh, 15 range of uh, pet resonance. So you would probably end up uh, landing in in here. Uh, and then you would want to place your um, your five teams, right? Just your five strongest or your, your three strongest teams if you're an escort gamer. And then if you're like me, yeah, it's an uh, <laughs> It's an in inspect gamer. Uh, this is where these teams come in. And I got to say, I'm really interested to see what the meta is for three uh, hero PvP teams. Because I don't think we've ever done something like this. And as you can see, Zero has some suggestions here. Um, many of them are based around Awakened Heroes. So if you have an Awakened Hero, you would want to make the teams that he has made here. Interestingly enough, he has an Ions team. Uh, and then, you know, uh, Brutus, Baden, Matria. Thane, you know, all these different kinds of teams. Um, they're pretty pay to win teams here. So I'll show you guys, um, I guess, uh, my my draft or what, what, whatever you would call it um, for um, for my three teams. So for the first team, I'm using, this is the same that Zero did. I'm using a Belinda team. And I, I, I feel like this is, uh, this is pretty good, right? Uh, and I think this is uh, the best formation. So make sure she gets the energy potion. And then hopefully she stays alive with Olna and this pet. And for the next team, I'm using a Albedo, Ainz team, a throwback here. Uh, Ainz is, is a, you know, he's a really strong unit. Uh, and with Albedo, who obviously has a built-in synergy with Ainz, uh, I believe he'll actually be a strong three, uh, three hero team. For the next team, this is the SEAL team, right? Or <laughs> what you could make of the SEAL team with three heroes. Uh, basically, just using the the SEAL and stall. I'm pretty interested if there will be enough stalling here uh, with just the SEAL team. Uh, yeah, also one thing that you should pay attention to is there's actually a debuff going on, right? Uh, which is this uh, damage reduction debuff. Um, and then it uh, once you ult, once your, uh, your hero ults, uh, it can take damage. And then the ult is set on a 12 second flat cooldown. So you can't really spam ults. Now here, um, I'm kind of cooking. I'm not sure if this is any good, but I feel like uh, Ye Yennefer at my investment is a strong unit and obviously Rem and Emilia are strong PvP units. So I'm just hoping this maybe works out. For this team, uh, I basically threw in strong heroes that I couldn't fit in any other teams. Um, but in here, you would just throw in whatever strong heroes you have, to be honest. 
and, and just hope it works. I still really want to use uh, Damian. I also want to use Tamros, but I can't really find the slot for them when you can only use three teams. And also for the pets, I'm, I'm really not sure about my pets, right? Um, but time will tell. And as we get more info on uh, maybe we can view other people's teams and see their win rates, uh, we'll, we'll know what three teams uh, work out. But really, uh, initially, you kind of just want to test things out because no one... No one really knows what the strongest uh, three hero PvP teams are. Uh, for this team, I'm just using three Wilders um, with because I have Solus built and I felt it was a shame not to use Solus then. Um, and then Nevi and a Star for more, I guess, healing and uh, and also buffing Solus up. And I'm using the Fire Breather Pet because I want to use the uh, Owl in this next team, which is basically I'm using Sorath and Laika, right? The speed up. And then. I'm praying to God that Yorin can one-shot whatever three heroes I'm facing, um, but I I have my doubts, but uh, I, I just wanted to try it out, right? Um, and basically, uh, the sum of these teams is just, it's basically just, I actually, I, I think I can improve. I think this pet would be way better. Um, but yeah, for my three teams, I just looked at my, uh, my seven strong uh, um, treasure scramble teams, and then I just took the core of each team and made it uh, separate teams, right? Um, and hopefully this works out. I'm, I'm 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 very very excited. But that's that's probably it for the uh, for the things you need to know about this event. TLDR: You look at the military camp. You look at what resources are needed in the inspect and uh, escort category. You go here. You pick the corresponding resource that are needed. I'm going for this one. You can go for these two. Um, and then you set your teams and you're you're good to go, right? Uh, for this, don't pay too much attention. Um, you don't have an individual big influence on this, uh, but obviously do your best. And then for the activity rewards, you want to make sure you complete these tasks. All right, so that's it for what I wanted to say. Another thing, um, if you guys check out uh, these chats here, um, I believe every single uh, militia has their own chat, right? I'm in the Dusk Militia currently. Uh, as I said earlier, it's random which one you get put in, um, but people are posting well, basically a TLDR um, guide, and then also um, people are posting uh, links to discords in here. Um, so, for example, I joined a discord uh, from this chat here, um, and basically it's just the same as this chat, right, but uh, over on discord, so it's a little more uh, digestible. And also um, you avoid the, the cesspool that eventually comes from a global uh, mobile game chats. Um, I've definitely seen some interesting messages in here. Um, so yeah, you can check this out. Uh, there are discords for the uh, different uh, factions and basically just do your best, pick the right resources, set your teams, depending on how strong your account is. Uh, basically look at your, um, for benchmark, just look at your pet level, where's your pet level at, and then choose the corresponding uh, difficulty. Uh, and then enjoy the uh, time gazer rewards, hopefully. Uh, well, not hopefully, because you're guaranteed those. Um, one thing I wanted to say is I think this event looks really sick. I mentioned that initially, and I really wish that this would have been some sort of guild event, right? A Guild Wars event kind of thing, where you know you had four guilds here instead of these uh, big factions with every single player in them. Um, and then your guild would battle other people, right? And there would be, as you can see here, like smaller accounts would have a, a spot in the guild, right? Because they could make three teams, and then the big players in each guild could make uh, the Occupy accounts or the op Occupy teams, right? Um, but sadly, it seems we got a, a big event instead, um, but I can't complain because this uh, event looks pretty high effort from Lilith. Uh, and I hope I hope this beta works out well for them and maybe we get some sort of a permanent, in, uh, permanent uh, game mode based on Treasure Scramble and Treasure Vanguard. Um, but that's it um, for my guide. I'll see you guys in my Treasure Scramble video in a few uh, days and then I'll also make a Nightmare Corridor video at the end of the week.